Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you are new. My name is Kristen, and today uh, I'm going to be telling you guys why I have to have a repeat C-section. This is kind of like an unsolicited, probably like way TMI video, but I've had some people in my personal life ask me, hey, why are you opting for a repeat C-section? Um, and I've, I'm just assuming that people online are probably also wondering why have a repeat c-section so I'm not exactly opting for a repeat c-section I am and I'm not my city ordinance states that all births that follow a c-section birth have to also be c-sections and that doesn't matter which hospital you go to we have two in town it's just a city ordinance I knew that after having my son uh, any following births would be c-sections if I gave birth in the city that I live in. Um, so that's kind of where I'm opting for the C-section because technically I could go to a different hospital in a different town and probably try for a vaginal birth if I wanted to. Um, but I don't exactly want to do that. So we'll get into all to everything. I feel like I can't breathe, guys. I've just filmed like five other videos in a row. <laughs> I can't breathe. So anyways. This is my second C-section. This is my second baby. Um, I can leave my birth story down below for my son if you're interested. It was a nightmare, a train wet, wet, I can't talk, a train wreck. Nothing went the way it should have and I ended up having a C-section. Um, it wasn't exactly an emergency C-section but it was like heading in that direction and my doctor was like we should go ahead and do a c-section before it turns into an emergency that was like her words so after like 24 hours of labor with him um, I ended up having a c-section because they were worried he was gonna stop like getting enough oxygen to his brain so fast forward two and a half years almost three years and I'm gonna be having another c-section um, like I said it's city ordinance that I have to have another c-section if I'm going to have another birth in the town that I live in. So the reason that I don't want to go to another town is because I'd have to give up my doctor for starters and I really like my doctor. Um, and then the other reason is that I'm really afraid I'd end up having another C-section um, because I wasn't able to give birth to my son vaginally. Um, <laughs> Pretty much what my doctor said the very next day after having him was that I was dilated to a 10. His head was pretty much at an 11. There was no way he was going to come through. Be thankful this doesn't happen 100 years ago, implying that I would have died and he might have died. And also that every, or not every, but most births, like following the first one, like the babies are typically bigger. Like baby number two is typically bigger than baby number one. And I know that doesn't happen or work out for everybody, um, but I've asked a lot of people in my life and it seems to be about like a 70% chance that like baby number two is going to be bigger than baby number one. And that's just kind of how it seems to be and that's exactly what my doctor said and because I wasn't able to get baby number one out I'm afraid I wouldn't be able to get baby number two out and that I would relive that whole train wreck that was my birth experience with my first child and that was just a nightmare that I really have no interest in repeating. Um, so, you know, there's health concerns there. I don't want to give up my doctor, city ordinance. That's pretty much the whole gist of it. Um, the, the reason I don't want to go to the next city over is that that hospital, one, I don't know a whole lot about it, um, other than it's in like a really bad location of town. There's a lot of gang violence there, um, that we don't have in my city. And I know that that hospital very recently got like its own police force. So, you know, maybe that's making things better and like you know changing things for the good I certainly hope so but the idea of having to go to a hospital that needs its own police force is a little scary um, not to mention that I have um, my husband's family living in that town and my sister-in-law recently had her appendix out during that time frame um, the hospital got put on shutdown because of gang activity in the uh, lobby where like the emergency room area is like you know when you <laughs> are coming in and you know like when you have to go to the ER and you go into like the lobby of the ER to like tell them why you're there and then they take you back like 
they had gang activity going on and the hospital got put on lockdown. That was just a couple of months ago. Then I've talked to my father-in-law and he said it wasn't that long ago. He was there visiting somebody in the hospital and they got put on lockdown and there was shootings, like there was a shooting in the hospital from gang violence and that they could like hear it down the hallway. And I'm like, I don't want to bring a baby into that. Like that's too risky. No thank you. So I would rather take my repeat C-section and stay in a safe hospital with a doctor that I know in a safe town <laughs> than I would be to try to have a repeat vaginal birth in that mess. I'm, I'm not interested. No thank you. I don't know if other hospitals in my local area, as in like other towns, allow for vaginal birthing or not. I haven't checked into it. Um, that's the only one that I am aware of because I have a sister-in-law who had all three, well, she had two of her kids at that hospital and her doctor allowed her to try for two um, vaginal births and they both resolved in C-section. So that's the only reason I know that they allow it over there in that town, but um, yeah, really not interested in birthing anybody at that hospital. The other reason I haven't looked into it for any other surrounding areas, hospitals, is because if I was to try to do another vaginal birth, I would want to go as naturally as possible. That was my original birth plan with my son. Like I really thought I was just going to like go into labor on my own, walk into the hospital, freaking beast it, push a baby out, and be done. Like That was my whole goal. I wanted to go completely unmedicated, and I tried. I went to labor on my own. Um, I labored at home until I forget how many centimeters dilated I was. I was fairly far along um, and then I went into the hospital and everything just went downhill from there. I tried to go unmedicated for as long as I possibly could um, but towards the end of it I ended up getting an epidural. The epidural was a nightmare. I don't have very many regrets in my life but that epidural was one of them. It was like an instant like can I have a time machine? I need to go back by like two minutes and undo this. I wish I hadn't got one because my epidural did not take properly. It put a massive hot spot in my hip so all of the like birthing pains that I was having was like nothing compared to the hot spot that I got in my hip from that epidural um, prior to like my birthing pains felt just very uncomfortable like the worst bladder infection of my life not necessarily painful but just aggravatingly annoyingly uncomfortable and I think the reason that I didn't find them necessarily painful is because my body went naturally and adjusted through everything. Um, whereas if you get induced, which if I went to another town over, I would likely have to be induced just because you're talking like almost an hour drive to get anywhere. So I've heard that like when you get induced, like your labor can kick in really hard and be really, really painful and your body doesn't really have time to like adjust to what's happening. Whereas when you go naturally, like your body kind of like goes through a natural process. Does that make sense? I hope so. So, like, my whole birth plan and the experience that I wanted, I don't think I could duplicate that. I mean, what I, you know, going naturally, unmedicated, I just don't think I could repeat that. Plus, there's a very high risk I would end up back in another C-section. And again, I don't want to relive the nightmare that was my first birth experience. And if you're interested, I can leave a link to that video down below where I talk about my uh, my first birth experience. I think I already mentioned that. It's getting late, guys. <laughs> so I hope this answers any questions that you might have about why I'm having a repeat C-section. Um, again, kind of my choice, kind of not my choice. Um, but I hope you guys did enjoy this video, and I hope to catch you in my next one.